Hi everyone, welcome to another Quilting Quickie with Whitney Sews. I post a new tutorial every single Wednesday to help sewers of all skill levels learn new projects and techniques. This episode is all about how to quilt pinwheels using one continuous stitching line. Now, I don't free motion quilt, so my favorite way to quilt pinwheels is by sewing just inside each section of the pinwheel. And I figured out a way to do this in one continuous stitching line. Now, I'm sure I'm not the only person that has ever figured this out, but once I figured it out, I really loved how it looked and the process of doing it, so I wanted to share it with you all. I started by drawing out this diagram, and I'm sure at first glance it looks really confusing, but let me explain it to you. There's a black dot in the upper middle, and that is the starting point. Then you simply follow the arrows around in color order. So from black to purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, red, and finally brown. By following the chart and rotating your quilt at each turn, you can sew one continuous stitching line that will quilt inside each section of your pinwheel. I have a copy of this template over on my website, WhitneySews.com, and you can go there and you can either pin it on Pinterest or you can save it to your computer and print it so you can have it with you as you are quilting your pinwheels. And then after you've done it a few times, you should be able to start anywhere on the pinwheel and be able to do it perfectly. As you can see, I sew down the side of the first triangle section and straight down into the next. Then rotate and sew along the bottom of that section. Rotate again and sew up the slanted side and straight into the section opposite it. Continue along following the same pattern until each section is quilted and you end up back where you started. This works for any size pinwheel you want to make. Now I'm sure you're thinking, but Whitney, that is one small block. What about quilting an actual quilt and having to rotate that so many times? It can be done. I have quilted a wall hanging and a crib size quilt this way on a regular domestic sewing machine. In my recent DIY inspiration video about the Star Wars quilt I made, you all saw that it was pinwheels and feature blocks alternating. I planned out the point where I started on the pinwheels and was able to quilt two rows of the quilt so four pinwheels and four feature blocks in one continuous stitching line. Then I repeated the pattern for the next two rows and so on. For the larger quilts, simply roll up the longest side of the quilt to help with rotating and pushing it through the neck of your machine. For a single pinwheel block like the one shown here, I spent about five minutes quilting it. For the same size block on a crib size quilt, I spent about 10 to 12 minutes quilting each pinwheel. And the extra time was spent rolling and rotating the quilt as well as checking periodically to make sure I wasn't catching any other part of the quilt underneath. It can be done, just take your time and you can do it. I think my favorite part of this quilting design is actually how it looks on the back. For some reason, I just really, really like how it looks on the back of the quilt. Um, but anyway, once you finish your pinwheels and your quilting, whether it is a single block like this one for just a mug rug or a small wall hanging or a full size quilt, you want to trim it up to make sure everything is square and the, you cut off all the excess batting and backing and then just add your binding as normal. Check out my binding quilting quickie video to learn an easy way to sew on binding and that video will be linked right up here in the information icon. Make sure to like and share this video if you found this information helpful and let me know in a comment down below what other quilting techniques you want to see in a future quilting quickie video. Right over here to the side, I'm gonna have all of my other quilting quickie videos that I've done in the past. And if you're not already, make sure to subscribe by clicking my picture right there so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And until next time, happy sewing.